So I'm going to demonstrate for you how to do the ab wheel. I'm gonna do it on my knees to demonstrate. This is a very advanced ab exercise. So if you're not familiar with it, I would start out, usually what I do is I put something in front of you so that you're stopping at something, a target, and you're rolling back in. Um, if you're new to core exercises, if you're new to strength training, definitely progress after you've done planks and side planks and other different variations, because again, this is a very vulnerable position it can be um, for your lower back. So just be wary of that. So I have a pretty big ab wheel here today for a demo, but these also come in different sizes. They're small ones. What I like to tell people is you want to make sure that the first thing that's moving forward are your hips. So a lot of people go into this and just roll out like this. This is wrong. You're not getting any core with that. So you want to fall forward as if your hips and your glutes were falling first. And when you get to the point where you're shaking, you're gonna come back in, almost like you're doing a reverse crunch, engaging here. So again, falling forward with my hips and my glutes. Notice how my back, there's no rounding. We don't wanna see rounding. So you're rolling out as far as you can without the compensation of your lower back rounding. So I'm gonna just show you what wrong would look like. I just, ow, lower back, not good. So you wanna make sure, again, your hips are coming forward. You're engaging here the whole time. If you feel like you lost the, the tightness in your stomach, then you went too far. Um, just, it's a good idea to have a target in front of you to roll to and then come back at your own pace. Um, but again, this is a very advanced movement and I would start with basic exercises like planks and side planks and then progress to the ab wheel.